I want to start by asking you about the here and the now, which is about 5G. Everyone watching you on all of our platforms of business today and India today would be keen on knowing if 5G is coming or when does my phone go from the current 4G service that it has to a 5G? How soon do we start and what does this mean to everyone who is listening to you at this moment? Well, I think uh, 5G is now, as we all know, around the corner. Uh, we are in almost full readiness, I would say. And uh, if you really look at the world, 5G has now started to take roots, real roots in most of the Western world, Southeast Asian uh, countries. Singapore, in fact, was the last one to go um, and start its 5G. So I think we are, some people think India is late. India is not late. In fact, it's the perfect timing. Some use cases are being developed. Uh, you can see devices coming through, prices of devices try to fall down, which perfectly suits a country like India. So I think we are ready. Thankfully, this time, the government put up a lot of spectrum because 5G requires very large uh, you know, chunks of spectrum to be effective. Otherwise, you don't really get the true joy of uh, 5G. And not only the mid-band, uh, which is the C-band, came through, the millimeter wave also was put out. So all in all, I think India is now ready from the spectrum point of view. Equipment is now pretty standard and available. We have been building for this day for the last 24 months. I had predicted that we will launch sometime in the second half of 22. Some of the competitors felt it could probably come in 20 end or 21, but uh, I knew that this takes time to really develop into an ecosystem. So we are ready. Expect, as the minister said, uh, launches uh, beginning from October. Uh, it could even be from very early in October, but sometime in October, you will start to see on your phones, if they are enabled for 5G, a 5G icon coming uh, on your phones. We'll start with big cities, uh, the key towns, and then keep on, as we have seen in the earlier 4G or 3G avatar, keep on then proliferating right across the country and uh, going into the deep uh, hinterland. What will it do to us? I mean, today I travel around the globe. Am I, as a mobile customer, really looking for 5G? The answer is no. But there are very important use cases which are developing around the globe, which, to my mind, are game changers for our country. Uh, robotic surgeries, uh, deep healthcare management in rural areas, distributing our uh, centers of uh, excellence. Don't build a mega uh, facility in Mysore by Infosys because scale is not important anymore. You can have 100 centers distributed in the country so that the employees can be working very close to where they are and get the same experience they would have got when they were in Mysore. Holograms, virtual rooms, uh, virtual teaching, experiments, participative experiments, everything can be done through a distributed um, uh, way because of 5G. Now, in simple terms, what is 5G? For everyone to understand, as we move from 2G to 3G to 4G to 5G, in simple terms it meant you could put in much more throughput capacity, so you could have very large amounts of files going through it, and importantly, data will be on steroids. So every time you go to the next technology, you are adding more steroids. So in 5G, you will have 10, 15, maybe even 20x speeds that you experience in 4G. And you can put a ton of capacity because the spectrum chunks are very large. But two important factors that come along with 5G is something that we as an uh, industry have been waiting for a long time. I can now slice and dice. If you are a particular customer of a particular need, I can give you a different speed and everybody sitting in this room can get a different speed. Now, this was not a capability we ever had. So imagine a packet of data being delivered to Spotify to listen to music versus an autonomous bus driving school children. And on an intersection of a crossing, you have some uh, emergency. How do you ensure that the, uh, you know, the packet that has to be delivered to the autonomous bus reaches there in uh, milliseconds as opposed to somebody taking and hogging away the bandwidth for a Spotify music. Now that can be done in 5G. The second part is latency. Latency means the speed at which you can respond to the needs. If a robotic surgery is being done and the patient while being dissected or being worked upon has a bleed. Now if it is a remote surgery and you can't respond, the, you know, the surgeon can't respond in a good time, you're going to lose the patient. In this case, the latency is so low, less than 10 milliseconds, that you are virtually sitting next to him. So these are the two very important parts.